Pushing the guys. Today we're gonna have uh, some of our guys competing. We're gonna have Chad, Andre, Rodrigo, and Bernardo competing. Uh, so again, you can't stop. You won't stop. You know, like that's the vibe. That's the vibe. The vibe. The vibe is to keep him, keep on pushing, guys. There is no such a thing as time off. There is no such a thing as slowing the pace. The pace is only straight and forward. Oh.
dois saíram do. This is how we train. <risos> Tava focado ali, né?
you get out of the forest today? That's the thing that I see that you want to go out so much better. You have to analyze it. You gotta feel the guy, you gotta plan it out. During the fight, you gotta see when the opportunity is there and when it's not. When it's not, just come out, it's okay. Play safe with that guy, but you never stop. That's what you did, especially when you roll with Dorian. You only engage as much as you needed to do what you did. The moment you didn't have your work back to the safe zone, that's it. That's what you want. Super good. Do you have water or play guard for you? Sure. I wasn't going to train today, but I'll do it for you. <laughs> Before. If you hear, post his hand if you want to. Now do it like a technical stand up. Skip your hips that way. That's right. Okay. Look at your knees. Okay. 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 Try to come forward. Try to stand up. You're going to have to take it like that. The ballerina could go whoop. Okay. So make it my kick out. Did you hear? Yeah. So try to come up. You're not going to come up. Yeah. Boom. That's it. Okay.
event is that everybody that was on my bracket there had the pers perfectly the the potential to win everybody was there was really good mostly world champions but one thing that that i see that actually experience gave me the leverage on top of the guy is that the guys were just all over the place i went to the the war as a sniper and the guys went to war like rumble a rambo you know no grenade, knife in their mouth, you know what I mean? Like, uh, no, the, you know, trying to kill the knife and shit, you know? So, and that's a, that's, that's a huge mistake. Because, you know, if you go to battle, you know, like trying to exchange positions, trying to prove a point, you might get caught, you know? Whenever you play with your mind, frustrating your opponents and taking advantage of the right timing to attack and not when you want to attack, but taking advantage of when you're supposed to attack, it makes a complete, complete difference. Being ahead of your opponent makes a complete difference. You know you when to engage and when to disengage out of the fight in order to keep 
the advantage you have is very important. Okay? So just make sure that you guys understand that when you go out there in the battlefield. You know? Because we all know that whenever some good, someone is very good, like on my competition I have guys who are like, um, they were specialists in cyber cyber attacks. They were one was specialist in foot. The other one was a specialist in back attacks. The other one was a specialist in take Like every one of them has a special specialty in something. You let that guy drag you into his specialty, it doesn't matter how good you are, there's a huge chance of you getting caught. Okay? So just make sure that you guys identify what your opponents are good at and don't let them drag you to their game. You bring you, you to, uh, them to your game, you frustrate them, and you're right tight, you rip their head off. Okay? Yes. But understand that? Yes. Okay? 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 Huge hands to Adolfito here. Yeah, because guys, I was talking to Adolfo yesterday. One of the main reasons that I'm proud of him is that whenever he came, like he's still a kid, how old is he now? 25. Whenever he first moved from Venezuela, of course, like as most of the guys come with big dreams, with the dreams, dreams of training, becoming the champ and all of that, but it's very hard for you to do that if you don't have your financial situation organized, if you don't have your life organized. Okay? So he trained for a year and then he had realized that he actually had to take care of his life before reaching out for his dream. He took his time aside, you know, like now, man, he's married, he, he like takes care of his family, you know what I mean? He took, so then he started taking care of himself, he was completely overweight, you know, super chubby, you know what I mean? Now, man, he dropped to his regular uh, 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 weight division, has been training super hard, and whenever it comes time to perform, you actually did for the first time. You know, your brown belt, you actually pull it off a beautiful performance, which you observe, and that's what you observe. You observe that kind of performance that you pull out last time. And that's what you do. Okay? You observe more than that. Okay? You understand that, guys? Yeah, like sometimes it takes time for you guys to find yourselves. But whenever you find yourself, whenever you find the path, keep on the path. Okay? There's no such a thing as overnight success. Okay? Success come over a lifetime of work. Whenever you find what works for you, Keep on grinding, man. Never come out of that road. Never come out of that path. Keep on grinding. Okay? Keep on grinding, keep on pushing yourselves, and keep on succeeding, okay? Congratulations. Adolfo, keep together. One Street Fight Sports, come on. One, two, three. Good job, guys. Good.